One week to go, guys. One week to go. And then it's playoff time. A lot's going on in this league. This league is um, frustrating to me because my team somehow wins. Even though I don't really, I don't know. This team, my team is just so-so, I think. I think there's other teams that are better. And we're going to find out next week, or this week, whatever you want to call it. But let's fit, start with this. Uh, the pickups. Oh, currently what? The uh, King of the Mountain also. King of the Mountain, I'm still the head. I can't remember what points I have. Like 184 or 185. It won't last. Uh, there's four weeks to go. Somebody, so don't forget, if you're out of the toilet bowl, Still set your lineup because you could still be king of the mountain. Goes to week six through week sixteen. So set your lineup still. Um, Pickums starting to starting to cruise away. I mean, not too bad, but I mean it's starting to because Pink Taco just had a huge week. Drake picked fourteen right. So did Captain Insanos. Um, a lot of people got 12 and 13 because this is one of those weeks where teams should have won that won. And that's what Drake did. He probably, he might have picked the Chiefs. I did. I think I did. Uh, so anyway, Drake, you're on top with 44. And you got a three-point cushion with Captain Insanos right behind you. And me and Wynum Dynam at 40. And then there's a big drop-off, uh, 38. 37, 36. So you got a three point lead and a four point lead, and then after that, six. So you got really just three guys on your tail. But things can change. Somebody could get like 12 right, where everyone gets like seven. And the next thing you know, boom, back in it. Um, for this week, though, what do we have? Ryan gets. Beat up by the Dirty Engines. And the Dirty Engines has clinched his division. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Dirty Engines clinched his division. Because Pink Tacos got beat by Natty Ice. Killed by Natty Ice. I mean, there was no hope. I mean, your best lineup, Chris, would have got you 130. And that's it. So you just had a bad week. You're gonna, it's like, that's fine. Get it out of the way, right? Natty Ice nutted. So he's still in the playoff hunt by the you know, hair of his beard, whatever. He got 153 points, but you could have scored 176 if you would have played the right lineup. It's okay. Who would have thought Terrell Pryor would have just had a huge game or Ryan Tannehill would have had a huge game? Captain Insano's got beat by me, which is good because I still get my one-game lead, but it doesn't matter because if I win, I'll be the number – who will I be? If I win – I'll be a number one seed, I think. Yeah. If I win, I'll be a number one seed. If I lose, I'll probably be a number four seed. I think. I think a four seed. So, hopefully I can win. I'll be the one seed. That'd be great. But anyway, uh, yeah. I beat Captain Insanos. Uh, obviously, Wendell Smallwood, my pickup of the, for the week, didn't really do much for me. And now this week, I won't have DeMarco Murray, so I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, Pocket Rockets could not do me a favor. Got close. You got close. Don't get me wrong. But Wyndham Dynam's team was just crazy awesome. I mean, he only had Thomas Rawls have a bad week. Well, okay, he had four guys have not great weeks. But he still hit 169 points. If he would have played his best lineup, he would have had 210 points. But he didn't. Because, seriously... Are you going to play Tyreek Hill over Jordy Nelson? Well, I might have played Tyreek Hill over Mike Wallace. But if you're thinking like I was thinking, I thought Tyreek Hill was going to be covered by Aqib Tlaib, so I didn't play him in one of my leagues. So anyway, Wynum Dynam, you beat Pink to or Pocket Rockets, which may have really hurt Pocket Rockets and his chance to to uh, to uh, be back-to-back -back champions. Um He's seven and six. He could still be a number five or six seed, I think, but it's gonna be it's gonna be tough. I'll get to those in just a little bit. Uh, <clears throat> Jeremy's first name versus popsicles. Popsicles, your team was good, and all of a sudden it just <laughs> dropped to crap. And yes, Jeremy just destroyed him, 143 to 118. And Jeremy 
I don't know. Did you know Stefan Diggs was very doubtful, like very doubtful, like on Monday, Tuesday, before Thanksgiving? You could have sat him and played Julian Edelman. That's probably what I would have played. Got you 16. You would have had 160 points. You still won. That's all that matters, right? You still won. And that really kills Popsicles' chances for the playoffs. He was looking good. I mean, Popsicles was looking really good. Not anymore. Travis, did you win? No, you didn't. Wow. Oh, that's right. Ah, doo doo. Okay. Doo doo wins. He picks up Christine Michael. I didn't understand that move at all because he is in first place, and you know, you where he's at, he needs to win. And he picks up Christine Michael. I'm like, why did he do that? He's got to start him. He's not going to play. And yes, he gets basically zero. Gets 129 points. He had, who did he have going last night? He had somebody going. No, he had nobody going. You had, it was Sunday night. You had Demarius Thomas going. That's what it was. And Demarius got you 11 points. And thanks to the Packers. Yeah, you should be thanking the Packers. The Eagles defense got negative three. I know. Go figure. So... Travis loses because the defense got negative three. He probably would have won if the defense would have got a typical five or six points. And now, and, and, Travis plays Jimmy Graham. Who did, could you have played? Because Tyler, I was really thinking everyone should have played Tyler Eifert this week because A.J. Green's out, so Dalton's got to throw it to Eifert now. He played Blunt, McCoy, Crowder, Hilton. I probably would have benched Hilton gone with Eifert only because typically no, but only because you have a backup quarterback who's going to be horrible. He might throw for 150 yards. So I probably would have done that. It would have been ballsy. I'm not saying I would have. I wasn't in your situation, so I don't know. Anyway, do do one. Now, for the standings, this is going to be interesting. So let me go back. Let me get my line set things set here. I'm on computer. Here it comes. I don't have Google Fiber, if you can tell. Okay, so uh, da, 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 Dirty Engines, 9 and 4, has clinched the number 2 seed, I think. Uh, yep, because your points are too low to be a number 1 seed if I lost. So Dirty Engines has clinched the number 2 seed. And that brings us to me or Wynum Dynam will be the number one seed. If I lose, jeez, oh, I and, and and of course I'm playing Pocket Rockets who just came off a horrible loss, so he's probably gonna have a nut job game, kick my butt. Then Wynum Dynam is gonna play a struggling three and ten captain in Santos and win. And I will probably since. He already has a 30-point cushion, Wine and Dine does. He'll beat me in points, obviously. And I'll be a number four seed. So that's kind of what I'm projecting, is that Wine and Dine will be the one seed, I'll be the four seed. And then Pocket Rockets would have eight wins and make the playoffs as a... Seriously, he would be like a five seed, I think. Let's see. He'd be a five or a six seed. Basically, Natty Ice, you need me to win. Because if you if I win, no, Natty Ice, I don't know what you were thinking. You don't have a shot for the playoffs. Oh well, yeah, I guess you do. If you win, if you if you have to win to get in. If you lose, you're out. You win, I think you're in. <clears throat> First of all, Jeremy is playing doo doo, which I don't know. Does that mean anything? Because Jeremy's out. Yeah, Jeremy's out. So, doo, doo you won the division straight up. It's over. Your division is set. No one else in your division is going to the playoffs. Popsicles, your loss this week knocks you out of the playoffs. Three losses in a row. You are out. doo, -doo is the champion in his division. Will be the number three seed no matter what. Um, so I can just cruise through that. I don't care if uh, Popsicles or Banana wins, but I think uh, I, yeah, I don't care who wins. Uh, Wynum Dynam versus Captain Insanos. Yes, it's a 10-point match. I don't know who's going to win. I hope Captain Insanos does, but I doubt it. I mean, come on. 
Wyndham Dime has Drew Brees, David Johnson. Thomas Rawls coming off a bad game for him. Carlos Hyde, who's stepping it up again. Tyreek Hill showing his moxie. Jordy Nelson. I'm pretty sure he's going to win. And what does he have on the bench that he could swap out? Nothing. So that's his starting lineup. Captain Insanos. What do you got? That you could switch out. Anything? Maybe what? Willie Sneed? Would you play Willie Sneed over James Starks? No. Would you play? Oh, I don't know. Maybe. I would actually maybe play Willie Sneed over James Starks because that game could be a shootout. Devontae Booker and the Jaguars over James Starks? <sighs> I'd play Devontae Booker probably. But that's about it. You're not going to win, so it doesn't matter. I am playing the Pocket Rockets, and I mean, I'm going to get my butt kicked. I don't have DeMarco Murray this week. I don't really have a good replacement, as I'm not going to play Wendell Small. Do I have to play Wendell Smallwood? Ah, no, I got Forte back. I don't have to play Smallwood. I don't have anything else to play, though. I guess I could play two tight ends. I, I might play two tight ends, actually. <laughs> That's probably what I'm going to do. His small wood sucked. Watch him get three touchdowns next week. I really don't see me winning. I, I, I really, yeah, I don't think, I think Pocket Rockets is going to beat me. Dang it. Dirty Engines versus Natty Ice. This is the game where Natty Ice has to win. Unfortunately, you're playing Dirty Engines, but. Oh, wait. No, Dirty Engines is going to have, who's he have at running back? Bobby Rainey Cameron? No. Who's he have? Tevin Coleman? Matt Asiata. He'll play Matt Asiata. Devontae Freeman, Matt Asiata, Jameis Winston, Cole Beasley, Antonio Brown, Dante Moncrief. Could play Sammy Watkins. I mean, that's a that's a tough call. Who do you play? Sammy Watkins or Cole Beasley or Dante Moncrief? One of the... I, man, do you play Sammy Watkins this week? That's a tough one. I think Natty Ice could win that game. I mean, Lamar Miller, Doug Martin, Rashad James, Matt Ryan, Jarvis, Manuel. I don't want to jinx it, but I think he could win and get himself in the playoffs. Pink Taco versus Ryan. Well, that's easy. Ryan, you suck. <laughs> I mean, Jeremy Hill sucked all year. Uh, Brandon Cooks could have a really good game. Michael Tom, you're banking, banking on, uh, it could be a shootout, like I said, so you never know. He needs a tight end. Who's your tight end, Ryan? Hunter Henry? Eh, he could have, do something, I don't know. That'd be so crazy if he won. If Chris, if you lose, I mean, because look, if, if Chris loses, what will Chris be? Chris, 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 where are you, Chris? Chris, if you lose, you'll have seven wins. Natty Ice wins, he'll have eight. And that would knock you out of the playoffs, Chris. Because that'd be one, two, three, four. And I don't think I'm going to win, so that'd be five. Yeah, if I, Chris, there's going to be so many scenarios. If Natty Ice wins and you lose and I lose, you're out. Because there'd be everyone with eight wins in the playoffs. Unreal. I can't believe how Natty Ice has got seven wins right now. Cause I thought his team was, like, out of it. Maybe not. Wow. So, I don't know. There's a. I really need a win. Please, everyone, hope that I win. I know you're like, shut the hell up, Corey, and just move on. I don't know what else to talk about except the Chiefs. Okay, so I think, not coming as a Chiefs fan, but I think if I was a Bronco fan, I'd be half fine with Kubiak making that decision to try to kick the game-winning field goal. Because if you if you tie the game, one, you're both screwed. Because now you're still technically three games, or to be three or two games behind the Raiders with a tie. So if you win, you still have a chance. And, you know, I... I think he made the right call because you're in mile high, really good defense. You should be able to kick 10 yards further than most stadiums. He just shanked it. And the defense, for some reason, couldn't stop us. Maybe they were winded. Maybe they went to prevent defense. I don't know. But I'm so happy for the outcome. I don't know how we won that game. Again, what is that? Panthers, Chargers, 
this game, is there any other, is there another game we somehow won? I mean, the, the Jaguar game, we held on to win. I don't know how. But I don't know how we let the Jaguars stay in the game, personally. But anyway, Chiefs are a scary team because somehow they're winning games. And teams like that win, you know, just like in baseball. These are the teams that win the one-run games. You know, the, Roy the Royals did that. When they won the Super the World Series, you know they came. They were that seventh, eighth, ninth inning team. Well, the Ro Chiefs are kind of showing that they could be a fourth quarter team. You know, we'll see. But I'm not expecting too much this week. I really would not be surprised if we get our butts handed to us. And that's what gets me worried because we can't compete with the high octane offenses. If I'm if we do get slacked, like I think we will. You know, Steelers killed us. I don't think we're gonna if if I don't think we're gonna win this week. And those two teams, one, we gotta hope the Steelers don't make the playoffs. Plain and simple. The Raiders, I'm still I like them. I think they're doing really good, but I think the Raiders can find ways to lose too. They found ways to win. Don't get me wrong, but I think they're gonna find ways to lose. I think we have a chance though. I don't know for the Super Bowl, maybe the AFC Championship game. And I don't want to go further than that. I mean, I want to go further than that. I'm just saying I don't want to talk about further than that. Because if we go, that'd be awesome. That'd be so awesome. Anyway, I don't want to get my hopes up. Have a good week. Last week coming. I can't wait. And um, that's it. Uh, if you're interested in Chiefs Broncos tickets on for Christmas, let me know. They are for sale. Um, but not cheap, obviously. I mean, come on. It's Chiefs Broncos Christmas night. I mean, I'm going to go if I have to, but I'd like to sell them at the price I want. So, anyway, I'm asking $350 a ticket, three tickets. That's $1,050 for the set, plus a parking pass included. All right. Have a good week, guys.